Hi everybody, this is Zhou Zhenxiu and a Beautiful Life. Today, I invited three friends from Haolai Wu. They are all in their circle, the celebrities. First, I want to introduce Masi Wenner. Masi Wenner is, uh, he used to be the actor, singer, right now he's a writer. He's a celebrity in the Haolai Wu and Beverly Hills. Second one is uh, Zara Sun. Zara Sun is a founder of the MD Sun uh, Beauty. She's also is a scholar and history, Chinese and American. And also right now she is uh, in the beauty circle with the celebrity is uh, Zara Sun. And also third person is uh, from Hollywood and Beverly Hills. She's a world-class designer and the a uh, planner of the entertainment. I know you involved that. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming to our Zhou Zhen Show and a Beautiful Life. This is a Chinese TV station. I think the uh, Master Winner, your first time to come to Chinese TV station, right? For sure. So, uh, what do you think of the women's education? How much important the women's education to the whole women's life? What do you think about that? It's very important. I think everyone, if they have the opportunity, should go to college. I know I went on a scholarship. If you don't have the money, you can always use your brain and, and, and work for it or even work part-time. I think it's very important to have a background no matter what, you, what, no matter what career you select. Oh, so you, uh, the education is very important. Of course. How about Zara? What do you think? That I know you study in the Taiwan University, Tai. And yeah. you came to United States to study in the some university, some uh, major. Yes. Yeah, it'll be introduced. How, what do you think of education? I think education is is basically is uh, um, is very very important. And education, a good education, definitely can change people's life, and also the environment, and also uh, even the world. So education is very important. And also, I think women are. Uh, important as men. So no matter who you are, no matter female or male, definitely education is the first goal. Of I, the agree. Life. Mm. I agree. I yeah. agree. Uh, Sandra, what do you think of education? Well, I think that education fills us with history. And then once we have the history, uh, and then what education then becomes is the experience. So it's very important for our young to get the history of what has happened before them. So that's really the, the fullness of what education can do. Then you go to the world, you're more experienced to be able to handle daily life because of what you've already been taught. So it's highly important. Kind of important. Okay, so our three gorgeous, they all, all, all your three think that education very most yes. important yeah. in the yeah. human being's life, yes. not only for women. Yeah. Masuina, I know you used to, like me, to interview people, That's used right. to work in the TV station. You interview a lot of the celebrity people working with like the Domingo. Wow. Yes, Placido Domingo. Well, I used to sing opera also. And the LA Opera is directed by Placido Domingo. He's been the director for maybe 20 years or more. And he's still, he's still in the 70s, but he's still going to do it. And of wow. course, he conducts, and he also, besides singing, he conducts the orchestras too, around the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, I do stories every week for different publications. And I've done very many television shows with Joan Rivers and with Entertainment Tonight. And I had my own TV show. And I love to interview people. You get to know people that way. Mm -hmm. So Zara, how do you study? I know your major is the study in the history, but right now you founder of the branding. What do you think about the education in your life? Uh, actually, what I'm doing is uh, well. Lots of people think that is definitely is not related to history, but however, uh, I think it's very very important that I learned history because through history you know the past. And then through the past, you know how you predict the future. So, um, well, um, 
I have a brand and I have a cosmetic brand um, is a pharmaceutical brand. It's MD Song, right? MD Song. MD Okay. MDSUN. It's a little bit famous. <laughs> it's the famous right now in the mainstream because the Masi, I saw the Masi's uh, personal file. I saw your picture and your husband and their picture there. Yeah, I was thrilled. I was <laughs> so surprised. Thank Me you. too. <laughs> uh, you saw we are even your first time to meet each other here in our Chinese yes, TV yes, station. Yes, but yes, before yes, you already yes. met each other. Yeah, yeah never. Uh, yeah, we met each other, but I never thought that she would put mm -hmm. my pictures uh, in her file. So uh -huh. thank you so much. <laughs> You're I so really pretty. Why not? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, yeah. so education Beautiful. is in the, it's really not only go to school. Yes. Education sometimes you can teach yourself. Yes. Like yes. my English right now, I'm sorry, I will tell everybody, I teach my English by myself. Mm. And what, what do you think about the, uh, Sandra? I know before you are came to United States, you yes. begin your study there, designer architecture. That's right. And uh, so what do you, yeah, what do you think about that? Well, do you know, in my world of design and build, because I'm a general contractor, that means I design the house, but I also build. Whether it's a restaurant or the estate home, I build it as well. And what is really interesting, Joey, in the United States, I'm only part of 4%, 4% of women in construction. So I'm a minority. And it's, uh, it's very interesting because it is a male-driven business, construction, True. but I am the business of beauty, just like you, except we have different beauty. Yes. yes. And, and Marcy is in a way, she, mm -hmm. she, has, she presents beauty. I build well beauty yeah. and, and She's a you make it. beauty. Yes. What do you think of women's healthy? Maybe somebody think I'm beautiful, <laughs> I'm attractive, so I'm healthy. <laughs> what do you think, uh, 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 Master Wina, what do you think of the health of women's healthy? I do think that what you present on the outside is very important, but it's what's inside I'm afraid that you have to be concerned about. And I think health is exercise, of course, and what you eat. And like I work out with a trainer, because when you get a little older, it's not as easy, like they can make mistakes. So it's better to have somebody train you to show you the correct way to do it. And as far as eating is concerned, well, I have to admit, I have my favorites. I love pasta. I remember Sophie Loren said she has to have this pasta every day or she would, couldn't exist. Well, I'm the same way. I was, I'd, be, I'd be doing very well in Italy because I love hot pasta. <laughs> but I tried to keep away from too much um, sweets, never have dessert, never, never. Oh. So, and I, I punish myself for eating all the pasta. So you might be very careful from the food Yes. and the body. You, you think it healthy from inside, inside to outside. Well, what you radiate outside is what you are inside. And not only in health, in your mind, in your spirit, your mind, health, spirit, it all works together. And I think what you are inside as a person, yes. Sandra, what do you think? I know you are a founder of the, you are built the, the you know, empty sense that products, the cosmetic products. What do you think about the health of women's healthy? Do you know, Joey? The most knowledge about health comes from the Chinese and the aged. The older generation, they ate the vegetable raw. Their starch was rice and still is. And when you speak, look how well our, for, for, uh, our, our great grandparents look in the mm. Chinese race versus some of our Western families. But I am from New Zealand where my mother and my grandmother, all, they had the same philosophy. Drink the juice. Always drink the juice of the vegetables because the juice is like the golden, the golden message because that's where all the vitamins are. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, what's so fabulous really about the United States now, in the last 25 years, the whole country is taking a huge turnabout on health and exercise. So our young are being taught now, whereas 50 and 60 years ago, Americans had an awful reputation about health. They were fast food eaters and not very healthy at all. But so it becomes, the beginning comes with the broth. And may I just say that I was working for a wonderful client, June Koo. And uh, I was given the responsibility to be involved uh, in uh, Beijing for a health center that she was designing called the, it's called the Green River 
health centre and the only thing that they would serve would be the chicken soup broth. Chicken soup broth. And the vegetable soup. Yeah. For the health. So there's a very big message that your ancestors know before mm -hmm. ours did. So they knew something that we didn't, but we're catching up, Joey. <laughs> okay. So Zara, I know your founder and uh, with your husband, the uh, Dr. Sung, uh, the build uh, the the beauty products. What do you think about that? Um, I think it's a cycle, definitely. Mm -hmm. It's uh, inside out and outside in mm -hmm. with the regular diet and regular uh, routine life and uh, it can make your skin healthier and uh, better. And of course, with a good uh, pharmaceutical grade product like MD Sun, and then we definitely can help your skin get younger and younger, use lots of stem cells mm -hmm. and peptides and mm -hmm. everything. When you see yourself, oh, you, you have less wrinkles, and then you have uh, less pigmentation, and then, um, well, your face has a slightly lifted, right. and then you really help your mental right. and part. So from the mental, and then definitely encourage your inside and then to be healthier. Right. So it's kind of a circle. <laughs> So I want to talk about the, uh, I know there are three people involved a lot of charity party, mm -hmm. even the Zara Song, I know your, you and your uh, husband involved the charity, international charity. So must I know you being involved for many, many years, you involved a lot of the charity that I have the picture. Thank you, bring the picture to me. I want to know, introduce a little bit of charity party. Okay. So who is this? Well, that's uh, Jerry Lewis, and he was the head of the MDA, the Muscular Dystrophy. He puts on a big telethon every year, mm -hmm. and uh, he spends a lot of his time in, in do donating to charities and time. Okay, who is this? Oh, that's, unfortunately, she passed away just last week or so, Debbie Reynolds, and she was the president of the Salians, and I'm very active in the Salians Mental Health Clinic. As a matter of fact, her daughter, Carrie, had been at the mental health clinic in, in, in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and I support that. Charity. And a charity, how about this? Well, that's Stanley Davis Jr., who I knew personally very well. And he, his wife was a dancer, and she used to dance in a show called Cher, which is helping children around the world. And she used to be one of the dancers. And uh, who is this? And that's oh, Mr. Blackwell. And I don't know if you know who he was, but he used to do the worst dress list. I hate to say it, but he put me on the worst dress list. <laughs> He actually was, you know, it's actually it's a compliment. It's a it's a compliment because he said, "Why does Marcy Weiner always look like she's auditioning for a Fellini movie?" And I was very upset. I wouldn't talk to him. But then he had people like Elizabeth Taylor on there, people like Sophie Loren. So if I'm a good company, it's okay. So you are very young. This picture. So yeah, that, that, that? that would be Danny Thomas, and he has St. Jude's Charity that helps children. And everyone who goes there with yes. cancer, children with yeah. cancer never have to pay any money at all. They support the family too. It's a wonderful charity. I think this one actor, I know him. He's a Douglas or something. Yes, Kirk he's Douglas. A, he, yeah, he's Douglas. Yeah, now, there, yeah. He's, he, there he was relatively young, like maybe 90, because I think he's almost 100. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's 100 years old now. And he's still, still out there. And you know, he had a terrible stroke, but he can still speak yeah. somewhat. And he supports, he and his wife support many homeless charities. I know they go down for Thanksgiving and yeah. feed the homeless in Los Angeles. This is your picture, very charming. Uh, oh, that was with, everybody knows Wolfgang Puck. I'm sure he's known in China too. I bet he has restaurants there too. But anyway, he has them all over the United States, of course. And, that, and he was a friend of mine. And I put on, I don't think he ever gave this chef's hat to anybody but me, but I don't believe in cooking, so it's okay. <laughs> I would never be competition for him. Okay, I have another picture. So I know you do a lot of charity. Yes. So what do you feel after the partner made of the celebrated people working with them? So how do you feel? You feel, uh, people tell me if you're giving something better than you're taking something. 
How do you feel? Well, about I will that? say one thing. I wrote a book about how to get ahead in society and how to meet people. And I think it's not it's for you and for the charity. Mm -hmm. And when I came out here, I didn't know anyone in California. And immediately I got involved in charities and these are the most important people you'll probably meet in your life. You're people who care about other people. And that's the kind of contacts that you want to make. And having lived here several well more years than I care to admit, um, you get to know people on a different level. You're doing a good, good deed together. So you gain back even more than you give. That's all right. I know you do a lot of the local charity mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. for the kids, even the Hun Huntington Library mm -hmm. Party. And also you do LEPO. Yeah, you do international mm -hmm. for kids, education, some charity. Mm -hmm. A little bit introduce of this story. Well, I'm a four children's mom. Oh, so four children's mom. Good. <laughs> I started my charity, it started from my community work. Uh, started from school and later we had libraries in San Marino and we need to rebuild the library in San Marino because mm -hmm. it was so old. So, and I started as a um, chairperson of the fundraising program uh, for San Marino Library. And also I uh, participate in the Chinese Garden of Huntington Library. So, um, well, after that, and of course, uh, Arcadia Methodist Hospital, City of Hope, uh, I'm very happy with is uh, we send uh, several messengers and doctors uh, to Bhutan. 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 Yeah, okay. Bhutan. Yeah, and to those small villages to educate the children and to uh, give them the, some medical supplies. Yeah. Uh, after all of this, how this charity activity influence yourself? Oh, definitely, definitely. There are many memories, but however, I work together with my daughters. And um, we, <clears throat> we are the member of Na National Charity League Foundation, I think. It's an international foundation. And um, we, we cooked for um, homeless uh, wow. on Sunday morning That's in great. Union Stations. Mm -hmm. And then we work together with my daughter and it's not for fun or it's just for, um, you know, a kind heart. And I, I think uh, my, my children, they really learned a lot. Good. Yeah. Congratulations. Good <laughs> sex of some mom. And, uh, okay. And uh, Sandra Costa, I know you are active used to. And right now I heard a lot of story about you. You are active with a charity party. Could you a little bit tell me the story? What a party charity party in the past gave you the... Are very deep impressed. Working for uh, Sir Richard Branson, and uh, mm -hmm. Sir Richard Branson is a, um, a an amazing person, and uh, I was involved in doing a charity. Two thousand people came, mm -hmm. and uh, his charity is about water. About water. Oh, wow. Okay, yes. but for sure, like, being water. That's right. But apart from acting as an executive producer on some of these wonderful large mm -hmm. charities, of which, excuse me, Joey has come to some of these large thousand people, two thousand people that I will organize and mm -hmm. uh, bring in all the all the parts. Yeah, I think last I, year uh, I mm -hmm. have a different type of charity okay. where I actually take care of over thirty-five children because I financially support them every month. Wow. And they are, yes, and they are in another country. And since they've been babies, and now they're old enough that they're going to school, and they are getting their food, and they have brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. and they all write to me, and they call me, Joey calls me the godmother of design, but they all call me the fairy godmother. <laughs> so it's excellent. a small yeah. contribution in my financial so I feel the charm will make the women more beautiful, more confident. Mm -hmm. We're talking about another uh, topic about the trend and fashion. So Zara, what do you think of the fashion and the trend? I, I think fashion itself is not really uh, considered is uh, only the clothes, or it's a, it's kind of a style. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's the lifestyle yeah. that you are facing too. So, um, including the architectures and yes, including right. um, 
and the, um, the global changes mm -hmm. and including the health diet and also including the, uh, the appreciate of the artworks and also of course the beauty. So it's a very big, uh, it, 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 it is a very big uh, thing. And um, you can talk to someone who were just very simple, but you, you, you can never say that she's not fashionable. Mm. Because in fashion to me, and uh, well, uh, vegan, eating healthy is a fashion. Yeah. yeah. So, um, well, helping others is fashion, and uh, education is a fashion. So mm. I, I think it's a very generous, but however, we really need to focus and follow the trend. And of course, and then we can lead the fashion too. For example, you are writing for you know uh, for children, and also they wrote you back, and mm, yeah. it's a kind of fashion. Yeah. And then you can change the world yes, too. Right. Yeah. Sandra, what do you think about the fashion in, the, in your life? Well, interestingly enough, Joey, my mother was a, an incredible fashion designer mm. in New Zealand. So I do believe that I got my fashion sense from my mother, even though I didn't live around her, um, she lived in New Zealand, it was inborn, it was, it was just part of who I was. But interestingly enough, that I'm crazy about fashion. And the right fashion, if, if it's classic, like my mother's clothing, which is anywhere between 30, 40, 50 years old, I wear my mother's fashion today. Mm -hmm. And I'm writing a book called My Mother's Closet. Mother. Because I wear her clothes, mm -hmm. which are fabulous. But when it comes to my own fashion in design, I believe in classic design. I don't follow trends mm -hmm. because if I don't follow a trend and I do your home, your home, you're going to love it from today forever. I build so you don't have to change. Mm -hmm. I probably could do much better if I didn't do it that way because I'd have more people coming back and asking me to redo. But I don't like that. I like to build something like this jacket that she's wearing or the scarf or this. It's, it's timeless. And that's how I build and design my furniture. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, Masawana, because I know you are be the we working queen. with uh, a lot of the celebrated people. What do you understand the fashion? Well, I believe very much in accessories because I think you could take a simple dress, any color, because I happen to like a lot of colors myself. But you could take a simple black dress and use the proper jewelry. It doesn't have to be expensive jewelry. It has to be something bring out some color. I my own opinion because. I'm a colorful person. I think you have to dress for you. Like, I've had a sister in law who said, I should wear Calvin Klein. Well, I'm not a Calvin Klein. <laughs> Can you picture yourself here event wearing Calvin Klein? It wouldn't work. You know, you have to have that kind of figure. Mm -hmm. And so you must d develop your own style. And, and it works for me, you know. I mean, not to be crazy, because I don't, I don't have pink hair, and I don't have, uh, you know, <laughs> I walk around with this skirt really too short, although I do like them a little short. But I don't think you should be that extreme, but create your own style, and it works. About the family, how do you think the, how important the women in the family? Wena, uh, the Masi Wena. Well, my mother did encourage me to my career. I was always a singer from the time I was a little girl. And I sang in, in little shows when I was about seven or eight years old, and it's been constantly, you know, carrying on. But although I went to college, and she said, you have to take business administration or you have to take to be a teacher. And she was right, because you must have a background. What you said is very true. Your, what you, the past or what people have done with their life is something that you create for yourself. Mm -hmm. And I think no matter what your career, if you want to be an actress, if you want to be anything, it's still better to have an education whether it's a, it's a cultured education. And it makes a big difference in life when you go on. Mm -hmm. And in my career, I, I never thought I'd end up writing, but I did. Uh, you know, you can be very, uh, um, you can have many different talents developed through constant education. And the, my mother did play an important part. My father died relatively young. He was only 52. So my mom was my, was my mentor. So I appreciated that. Mm -hmm. Then, how about Zara, what do you think of that? Family, women in the family, the possession. Um, I'm a very lucky person. I have my parents in law and also my dad and my mother, and who gave me lots of love. 
and always still continue giving me lots of love. So, um, and I, I think a lady, a woman, a mother is very, very important to the families. And then uh, you can see that I, I'm talking to you right now elegantly, but probably like a three hours after, I'm rushing to pick up my kid. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think mm -hmm. lots of ladies' life uh, are like mm -hmm. this. And um, so we play different roles mm -hmm. and in the families, and then we have to uh, talk with children, and then also they're not children to me anymore, but still to me, um, in some way, in my heart, they are my so kids. Yeah, yes. yeah. and uh, also we have to pass father's message to, to them, mm -hmm. and uh, we're kind of like a in between. But however, I think uh, to play a good mother's role is very important, and then it will be a profound influence to the children. I have four adult children and eight grandchildren, wow. Wow. and the nicest thing that uh, my adult children call me is they say, I am the rock. <laughs> I am the rock of the family. And uh, do you know, Joey, here again, I will relate back to the Chinese family. I work for a very wonderful family. And um, when I was with uh, Charles Su, he explained to me that the mother is always behind the successful son in China, and that she may stand in the background, but is very respected. And so it's wonderful to be associated with you both and the rest of everybody who's watching us today, because uh, we all carry that special feeling for our mothers, and we, we hold that together. So we're changing another subject, how the women, how important the women involve the outside of the family, the, the activity. Uh, with Masi, I know you are very active <laughs> with uh, outside of the party, yeah. everything. Yeah. Well, I, I like what you said before about having your children become charitable because mm -hmm. this is something you learn when you're very young and you, just, you don't all, all of a sudden when you're 30 or 40 years old become charitable. It's some, I think it's from little kids that they sell lemonade and give a certain yeah. pr proportion yeah. to charity. If they know there's other people in the world, mm -hmm. I think this is what's most important that the mother must instill upon that child that they're not the most important person, that there are people less fortunate, and this, and I know I knew from a child I always was geared toward that, and that's why it's easy for me now. Um, I think in this century, um, basically, uh, as I, restate, um, I, I stated earlier, a female and a male are equally important, uh, not only in the family, but also in the world, and also in the communities. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, we have to handle the works, but however, we have to contribute um, to lots of lives and different kind of um, activities. And uh, every time when I went to, I, I went to some social activities as well, you know. And every time I came back from a kind of event, I, I discussed with my children and how much I learned and how, uh, how many people and I respect, and then also there are some uh, occasion I dislike. So uh, I'll share my experience with them. I, I think it can broaden their experience and their life as well. Okay, hello everybody, this is Jordan Xuan, The Beautiful Life. Like somebody said, we are living the world, we have a created. And before I let you go, I want to say three beautiful women, and give me the comments of one sentence. What it means a beautiful life? I'm, I'm very much of an outgoing person with other people. And no matter what you look like yourself, you have to appreciate the rest of the world and give to them. To me, that's very important, whether it's charity or just love. Sharing. Okay, Sharing. that rock. Sharing. Beautiful life. Serve. Serve. Give the serve. Giving. How about that? Sandra. Living and feeling good about it. Okay. Yeah. Everybody, right now you're watching the Jordan Xuan, the Beautiful Life, and the Li Cai, the philosopher from Germany, said, without the music, we cannot imagine our life. Today, I want to see the world. Without the women, we cannot imagine the world. Thank you for watching the Jordan Xuan, the Beautiful Life. See you next time. Mm -hmm.